We just arrived here at the Mina Basilica of St. Martin and it's huge. Welcome to Tal City here in Batangas. Mike and I ventured out to finally visit this historical city to um, show you around a little bit. We just arrived here at the Mina Basilica of St. Martin and it is one of the most impressive churches that I've ever seen. First impression is just incredible. It's so beautiful and it's huge. It's really uh, one of the biggest churches I've seen so far. So. I'm very excited to show you around today and see what uh, this heritage town of Taal has to offer. The town of Taal was once actually located in the old Taal, okay. which is the lake. No? Yeah. If you even have to trace the history of the province, which is Batangas, yeah. uh, Batangas was once referred as La Provincia de Taal. Okay. It means to say the province was once Taal. Ah, so uh, Batangas it, used to be Ta'al actually. Yeah, okay. the, the province was once described as Ta'al, mm. La Provincia de Ta'al. And only in 1581 when Batangas was established and even originally the name was Batangan and not Batangas. Ah. Okay. What is even as important uh, for many people to know is that uh, the word Ta'al came from three different versions. No? Okay. At first, Ta'al was once referred as Ta'ad, that's T-A-A-D, for which it's actually a sugarcane top that was used for planting. And when the natives were asked by the early uh, colonizers, what is this place? Because of illiteracy, they thought it was just actually being referred to what they were planting. Ah. So the re response was Ta'ad, okay? The sugarcane top. Yeah. Now, in another version, uh, the second version, Ta'al was once referred as Tal'an, that's T-A-L dash A-N, for which Tal'an was a similar to a cogon plant that okay. grew in abundance along the river banks of the famous Pancipit River. Um, too bad now that after the volcano eruption, there was some kind of uh, land tilting okay. that it led into something like some parts of the famous Pancipit River. Uh -huh. uh, uh, are now almost as drained. Okay. okay. We're getting a lot of good insights yeah, here. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Thank what, you so much. What else would you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> Where can we get the best food here? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wow guys, this is so, so stunning. It is so beautiful and huge. And this church just recently was uh, restored or rehab rehabilitated for around 30 million pesos, which is also the reason why it withstood recent uh, earthquakes around here caused by the Tal volcano eruption.
can't really talk in here because a lot of people are praying so we don't want to disturb them but the church is so so beautiful it's absolutely impressive with all the um, paintings on top it's so really it's it's so well done and so overwhelmingly beautiful <laughs> so so this church is really stunningly beautiful and it's been such a long time that I've been inside a Catholic church and I forgot just how calming the atmosphere is always in here. It's always you feel very warm inside and it uh, kind of worries start to dwindle away. It's really lovely. Wow guys, what a beautiful place, what a beautiful church. Such a nice calming atmosphere in there. And as Nelly said earlier, for obvious reasons we can't just be vlogging in there. There's people praying and really coming to this place to seek emotional refuge, I'd say. Yeah. Um, so it would be inappropriate to just vlog loudly in there. So I really, really like this. So nice to know that we have this so close to Manila. Yeah. And I loved it how it, this guy just came over to us and started talking about the history of the, of the church and of the city yeah. which is just a, a sign of how hospitable people here are. Yeah. They just want you to be part of their culture and I don't know, when we came here we had no idea what to do and what to see, what's, what to expect but um, once again I think we made the right choice to come here and just see yeah. for ourselves. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and turn on the notifications to support us here on this channel. We'll be back with some more travel vlogs and of course the 24 days of Christmas. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome. Be positive. And make it happen. Bye-bye.